Good morning, uh, YouTube model community. Uh, it's been a little bit since I posted. Uh, I've been real busy between work, um, Christ, family, sports, school starting again. Uh, you know, I have two young girls. Uh, I haven't really done much in the shop here last week or two. I, uh, my new motorcycle finally came in, so I kind of been, uh, loving her up, you know, putting some, uh, putting some time in with it, trying to make it my own, and, uh, you know, getting some seat time. Uh, a couple guys will understand that. Uh, Chris Chapman, I'm sure you will. Uh, I got a 2015 Harley Road Glide. I ordered it, uh, a while back, and, uh, finally came in. I got the very first one in the Northeast, which is kind of cool. Uh, so far, so good. Love the bike. The more I ride it, the, the you know, the more I uh, enjoy it. Totally different than, than any other bagger I've ever had. And I've had, uh, oh Christ, five or six new bikes prior to this. So it's getting there. Maybe later on I'll uh, shoot a video of it. I mean, it's a bike. You know, it is what it is. Um, so I've been working on a gasser project a little bit here and there. And, uh, it was, uh, it was coming out all right. I had a few issues, you know, along the way. It is what it is there. Uh, let me give you a little peek at the chassis and stuff. I uh, It's a 55 Nomad. It's an older kit from, I think, the early 90s. So, you know, it's a it's an older AMT kit. That is what it is. Not real detailed. You know, the exhaust is molded on the bottom of the car. I, I wish I could grind it out, but... Uh, that's way more than I'm looking to, uh, way more aggravation than I think I, I can, uh, put myself through. So, I'm leaving it on there. I got rid of the, uh, the 283 or whatever the hell it was, 260 V8, and I put a, uh, um, a NASCAR motor in it out of, a Chevrolet NASCAR kit from probably the 2000 era, somewhere around there. Some trials and tribulations there with that, you know, with fitment. Um, painted the body. I painted the the roof. I'm doing two-tone. I painted the roof a couple weeks ago, probably a month ago now. Who knows? Uh, the white came out good. And then I painted the green. And then uh, I, I it was me. I screwed up. I had, uh, had some acrylic paint that had skimmed over. And when I mixed the paint originally to paint all of the, uh, you know, the interior parts and pieces. I had mixed it in a little squeeze bottle, you know, a little squeeze bottle. And it had sat in the squeeze bottle for probably two weeks or so. And then when I went to use it, you know, there was some skim coming through the airbrush. So it got a little little bit of shit particles in the, in the paint. So I just wasn't down with it. So I threw it in the purple pond night before last. Uh, I took it out of the pond. Oh, let's see. You know, the black, flat black that I use is not affected by the purple pond. So that's cool. So I don't have to, you know, paint the whole inside again. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm okay with it. You know, it was by choice that I threw it back in there. It wasn't it was still a little wet. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, let me see what else. Okay. I had put the chassis together and I couldn't get the chassis to sit quite the way I wanted to so I had to break the front suspension off a few times and you know raise it up higher because as a you know a, a gasser it's supposed to have a rake where it's front end high you know so I'm getting there I, w I wish I could I, I might break it off again and uh, try to set it a little bit higher I'm not sure uh, as you can see the headers hang way down which is uh, kind of cool, you know, they're supposed to be inside of the frame rail headers. I flipped them over, cut the ends off, ground down a new angle where it mates to the head uh, so that I mounted them upside down, basically, you know, so that they are over the frame headers. It's kind of cool. The chroming is old, you know, it's an old kit, but I'm okay with that. Um, I used the intake and the Hillborn off of the 55, or off of a 55, I should say. 
you know, it's kind of my 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 tune-up kit for building a gasher that I got going on for my club, the uh, Tappanooberg Model Club. So, uh, you know, I mean, that's pretty much where I'm at with the chassis. I'm okay with it for a you know a first gasher attempt. Um, this is my interior tub, I'm omitting the back seat. You know, did some seat belts and stuff. I think the dashboard and stuff came out okay. I'm all right with it. You know, very simple and. Uh, you know, it's just kind of a slow go here, just not a whole lot of time, you know, with everything I got going on here at the house between the kids starting school again, you know, the new bike coming in. Um, let me see, how's this fit on here? Trying to get you guys a, a good picture on how, to, how it'll eventually sit. There we go. I'm gonna do the uh, the body, the main body from the window line down in this peridot green, which is you know, the same as the interior green. It's a pretty cool color green. And then the top, I painted originally in pearl white, folk art, metallic pearl white. I like it. I'm gonna do it over again. You know. Um, I had this problem once before, and, and I forgot all about it until I sprayed it the other night. It is what it is. You know, shit happens. <laughs> My own fault. Just, uh, you know, not paying too much attention to what I got going on, I guess. No big deal. I'm not frustrated by it or anything like that. You know, just, uh, whatever. <laughs> you know how it goes. Uh, let's see. I cut out the hood. You know, I glued a parts tree on here so I can paint the hood you know uh, this kit comes with a opening trunk you know opening a rear deck and glass you know the deck opens down the glass opens up this came out okay I got one little schmutz in there somewhere but whatever I'm close enough that actually I just forgot to throw it in the pond to strip it so I'm, I'm okay with leaving it the way it is it is what it is, you know? So, that's that. Let me see uh, what else I got going on. In the background here, there's my old pink booth. I'm trying to, I'm building a, a new paint booth. I haven't gotten done with it yet, but just something a little bit different. Trying uh, something a little different. I used a, uh, a hood range. You know off of a stove and then I built a collector box up top oh, this big huge box right here is uh, gonna be the air duct I still got to get a, a fart sucker fan or I want to get an inline fan and then uh, you know I want to run the hose along the wall and then out the window and I want to put an inline fan in it as well, you know. But I just haven't, uh, you know, haven't got there yet. My stepdaughter, uh, both of my girls are my stepdaughters. Uh, one's 10, one's 15. The 10-year-old, uh, she's, uh, she's a pip, that one. She's, uh, she's got some vision problems. She's legally blind. So, uh. But she can still see, you know, she don't let nothing stop her. She can still read. She's just, uh, you know, it's challenging for her sometimes. So she decided that she wanted to build a model. And, uh, you know, she comes down here in the man cave and hangs out with me and watches me paint and build and, you know, fiddle farts around. So I went and we picked up her a snap kit. It's a older grave digger kit. You know, it's big parts. So it's uh, easy to see for her first kit, you know. Everything's molded in multiple different colors, so there's no painting, there's no decals and stickers, which, you know, I mean, I'll help her out and I'll put the stickers on for her, but she's, uh, 
we're gonna start that on Monday. So I uh, I might put this gas kit up for a couple of weeks, you know, or a week or so while we build this this uh, monster truck kit. But that's uh, pretty much what I got going on. Uh, you know, I didn't forget about anybody or just kind of life, right on. Well, today uh, today's supposed to be rainy here, so I don't think I'll be racing tonight. I work on a, a big block northeast dirt modified, and uh, last week we had a, a horrible wreck, destroyed an entire car. There's nothing left, fifty thousand dollars in junk, scrap metal. That's pretty much what it is. But we do have a small block, which we were gonna run our small block car tonight. But I think it's gonna rain, so I think I might spend the day. Hanging out down here in the man cave. Uh, the kids are with their dad, so it's kind of a quiet house. Uh, spend the morning maybe in the man cave here, and maybe I'll go out and down to the barn in the in the afternoon and fiddle fart around with my mistress, Miss Bianca. I named her. <laughs> that's what my old lady calls it, the mistress. So that's that. Well, uh, maybe I'll give you guys an update later on. Talk to you later. Thanks. Have a great day.